We all want more traffic and more visitors, but if there's one thing that's better than just getting more traffic, it's to have highly engaged visitors on your website. And that's what our latest feature update is all about. Hello, I'm Shane from Thrive Themes, and we've added a new feature to Thrive Content Builder and Thrive Landing Pages that lets you easily add Facebook and Discuss comments anywhere to your landing pages or inside your content. So let's have a look right away. Here we have a sample page. And what you can see is in the editor sidebar right here, one of the options is comments. And we have two possibilities here. One of them is Facebook. And you can drag this and drop it onto your canvas anywhere you want, just like with any other element. And you'll show this preview here. It's just an image, like a placeholder image to represent where the comments will appear. And you won't see the actual comments in the editor view, but you will see them on the front end of your site. Now, when you click on this, there are a few settings. You can change the color scheme. You can set how many of the comments will be shown by default. And so in this case, after 20 comments, there will be a little link that says load more comments. And so you can show more or fewer by default. You can change the default ordering of the comments and you can set the max width, which I recommend just keeping that at 100%. But if there's any reason you need to change that, you can change it here. Now, for now, let's just save this and have a look at what this actually looks like on the site. So I'll preview this and here's the example. So you can see this is a fully functional and also fully responsive Facebook comments field where anyone can come in and with a Facebook account, they can leave a comment here. There are two more things worth considering for Facebook. And the first is you can set comment moderators and you simply enter the Facebook ID of the people you wanna be moderators for these comments. The way to find this ID is to go to your Facebook profile and on your profile page is this part of the URL, the part that's after facebook.com, after that forward slash. This is what you enter in the field right here. And anyone you enter as a moderator, that will be saved across your entire website. So if I go to a different page and add this field again, this same moderator will be added automatically. So if you wanna have different moderators on different pages, you can make those changes, but by default, it will just always save your latest settings from the last time you added one of these comment fields and keep them for the next one. The second factor is the URL field. And by default, the comments in this comment box will be associated with the page that they're placed on. But you can also choose to add a custom URL. And what that means is you can have the comment box on multiple pages, but it's always the same comment. So as long as the, what you enter in the URL field, as long as you enter the same URL, you can have the same comment box with the same comments on different pages on your site. Next, let's look at the second option, which is discuss comments. So same deal as before, you can add this anywhere to your canvas and you can see this representation in the editor and you click on it to see the basic options. One, one thing you need to do for this to work is you need to associate a discuss forum name with it. The way to find the name to enter here is to go to your discuss homepage or to your dashboard, I should say, and so you have to have registered with Discuss and you have to have added your site. Then you can go to your dashboard and you see your sites listed here and you click on whichever one uh, is the appropriate one. And then you can look at the URL here again. So you'll have this URL structure like this, discuss.com forward slash home forward slash forums. And then this here between these two slashes, that's the name I'm gonna copy and paste in here. And the URL field, works the same way as the one in the Facebook comments. So if you have a shared URL, you enter the same URL all the time, you can have the same comments box with the same comments on more than one page. So when we save this, this is what it looks like on the page in action. So here with the discuss system, again, anyone can come along and leave a comment here. One of the big advantages of this feature is that you can also add these comments on your landing pages. So while on WordPress posts and pages, you can just make use of the default WordPress comment system on landing pages that hasn't been possible, but now you have an easy way to add comments to landing pages. For example, we have a personal branding type set of pages and one of the pages here is the welcome page. And here it can be a great addition 
on the welcome page where you welcome your new subscribers to also give them a chance to talk to you. And so here what we can do is add one of these comment fields to this landing page to add an element of interaction. So that's a great addition to this personal branding setup. And by the way, we have a whole video on how to do this personal branding setup that I'll link to below as well. And there are many other possibilities where you can add this element of engagement and interaction to your landing pages. So that's a quick look at this new feature now available in Thrive Content Builder and Thrive Landing Pages. Let us know what you think by leaving a comment below. And if you appreciate these frequent updates, please share and help us spread the word.